People who have seen my 40 African cichlids ask me the same question every time. Cichlid charmer, do you have a favorite? To which I reply, no. I love them all. But I'm lying. I totally do. Meet Zeke. The Astatolitopilapiti. Ah, heck, just call him the Zebra Obliquidens. The Zebra Obliquidens is classified as a Lake Victorian hab, but he's really endemic to Lake Kyoga and the smaller neighboring lake of Lake Nawampasa in central Uganda. In the wild, they have a lot of rocky outcrops and eat a lot of insects. I ain't catching no bugs. Well, that's just fine, because you see Zeke here, he's not from Uganda, he's from a breeding tank in Florida, and he hasn't had any rocky outcrops or many insects at all since he's been here. In fact, he pretty much just eats the pellets and frozen krill and sometimes a nice vegetable treat that I feed everybody else, and he's doing just fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I boring you? Wake up! What? All right, all right. Just a little bit more of the boring stuff, and then I'll get to the reasons why I like this guy so much. Gets to about a max size of five inches, though I think Zeke might be a bit bigger than that. Water conditions, we like about 76 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, a KH of 10 to 15, a pH of 7.8 to 8.6. I think we're riding about 7.8 in my tank right now. Now they say the minimum tank size is about 55 gallons for this guy, but I would say if you're going to lightly stock your tank, a minimum tank size of 75 gallons. If you're going to heavily stock it, a minimum tank size of 125. Give him some room to swim. So why do I like Zeke so much? Is it the brilliant yellow combined with the black stripes? Is it the big red heart? Or is it the black war stripes underneath his eyes? Well those are beautiful and all, but those aren't the main reasons for my affection for Zeke. The reason I love Zeke so much is more about the man he is inside. Zeke's tough but humble. Sure other fish may push him around for a little bit, but it never lasts for long. He's listed as semi-aggressive and I think that's a pretty accurate description. Tough when he needs to be. Now if Zeke were going to be compared to a movie character, I would think it might be somebody like Clint Eastwood and Pale Rider. But then again he never kills anyone, so how about Rocky Balboa? Or even better yet, this guy. Now what do you say we have story time? Well, too late. Here we go. I had this Python Island hab who was just the devil. This is the last picture I took of him. He was causing so much trouble I had to put him in a penalty box. After I put him in that penalty box, I left for a couple hours and then I came back to make sure he was all right. But now it wasn't him in that penalty box. It was Zeke, all by himself. He had jumped over the top of that penalty box somehow and gotten in there to teach that boy a lesson. I don't know how he did it, but somehow he did it anyway. And then that Python Island happened must have gotten out of there the same way Zeke got in. When I let Zeke out, he was just looking for that boy all over the tank. The Python Island hap couldn't find a place to hide. I eventually took him to the local fish store. I promised myself I wouldn't do this, but I just love that Zeke so much. <laughs> Zeke the ever-sacrificing zebra oblique ends. So when you have a guy like this, you want to take care of him and make him shine. And if you want to get that red and black and yellow as bright as it can be, make sure that you keep that water pristine and feed them a variety of quality foods. It's recommended that you keep zebra oblique ends with fish of the similar size, so five to six inches. But if you decide to put him in with some war haps or predator haps, I mean, then make sure you just watch him and make sure he's all right. Zeke's been living with a bunch of war haps that are slightly larger than he is, and he's been doing fine. I've never bred the zebra oblique ends, but if you're looking to get into it, you're gonna to wanna to take at least 125 gallons with some flat rocks or slate on which the female will lay the eggs. Now she is a mouth brooder, and once those eggs are hatched, she will guard them for about two months after they're born, which means you can raise those fry in the same tank the parents are in. Easy. Now remember, as with any African cichlid, you can get two of the same kind of fish and get fish that behave completely differently. But as for my boy Zeke, I couldn't be happier. The colors, the wonderful Rocky Balboa personality have just made him the best fish that I've ever had. If you love your cichlids as much as I do, keep their water pristine. Check out this video on how to do a step-by-step -step water change in record time using the CJ Ultra Zero submersible pump, and it'll do just that. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. You've been watching The Cichlid Charmer. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.